All right, Britt, thank you. Time right now is 803, and today the first federal execution in nearly two decades is set to happen in Terre Haute. Convicted child killer Daniel Lee is scheduled to be the first of three set to be executed this week. His execution was put on hold Friday, but then over the weekend, a federal appeals court overturned it. The family of the victims has been against Lee's execution for years, and Charlene Cristobal is joining us now with more of these details. Charlene? Yeah, and so a judge in Indiana had originally put the execution of Daniel Lee on hold because of coronavirus concerns, but that injunction only put it on hold and only delayed it until there was no longer a health emergency. And as we mentioned, it was overturned on Sunday with the federal appeals court saying it lacked legal basis. As of right now, Lee's execution will go on as scheduled today at 4 p.m. The family of the victims plans to appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court to seek a reversal. I will guarantee you that there are teams of federal defenders who are looking for any legitimate reason to stay the execution and examine litigation and new factors. Lee was convicted in 1996 of murdering a gun dealer, his wife and her eight-year-old daughter in Arkansas. Meanwhile, the family of Lee's victims, as I've mentioned, has been fighting against Lee being put to death for years now. They say watching Lee be executed is just not justice for them. They're not doing this for us because to me it's heartbreaking, it's disgraceful, and I know my daughter would be very, very hurt to do this. Now, Lee will be the first of three inmates set to be executed this week. The other two involve Wesley Perky, who murdered a 16-year-old girl and an 80-year-old woman with polio in 1998 in Kansas. His execution actually was set for Wednesday, but has been put on hold as of right now. That could change in the coming days. We'll stay on top of that. And on Friday, Dustin Honkin is scheduled to be executed. He shot and, and killed five people, including two young girls in Iowa. And then there is another execution set for August. Meanwhile, the Federal Bureau of Prisons has said that one of their staff members who was helping prepare for the execution today has tested positive for the coronavirus. But they say that that person has not come in contact with anyone who is actually handling the execution today. But the ACLU tweeted directly in response to this, saying that going forward with the executions will put hundreds at risk and willing being willing to do it is indefensible. A federal public defender also told us holding federal executions during a pandemic is heartless, showing no regard to those who have to carry out these executions. Now, again, as of right now, Lee is still set to be executed today at 4 p.m. in Terre Haute. That's Lace from downtown. Charlene Crispel, Fox 59 News.